Uh, you know, just I love the boys, um, appreciate them, of course, and uh, just fire it up, man. Uh, one thing about voting for captains is you, you know, you vote for captains because you're towards the end of training camp, which means season is here. So, you know, just explain it to the boys that we're ready to go, ready to rock, and, uh, you know, it's love for them. Is there? What does it mean for you to be named the captain for a second consecutive year? Uh, it's just an honor, man. It's, uh, I guess it's funny because. Like this this year, I knew I was going up, but like I still, once I got up there, like you just, you know, like uh, it, that room means so much to me. It's hard, it's hard to even get words out sometimes with those guys, man. It's just, uh, it's a huge honor. Uh, Chris, what does it mean to have your, your quarterback as a captain as well? It's really cool. Yeah, it's really sick. Um, and also like Mikey, who's me and Mikey live together, um, so like it's it's pretty cool. And about to the right side here, Ryan. Uh, what's what stood out to you the most during fall camp? Um, the energy, man. It was it was weird. Like uh, I feel like guys, we kind of challenged like halfway through or like a week or something in. Like you know, guys kind of stepped up and you know challenged. Like the energy of the practices felt like they weren't where they needed to be. And then I mean, they just revved up and things got really competitive and really energetic and like so much fun, man. It was it was a lot of fun. Back to the left side, Brandon. So the injury last year, obviously recovering from that was challenging. In between then and now, to still be named a captain, to, to be fully healthy ahead of the season, how much does that mean to you? What's the number one thing you learned across that time? Uh, I mean, yeah, it just mean, I mean, it means everything to me. I've been, I've, uh, I've been thinking about playing for like a year now, so it's hard. It's hard to you know stay where your feet at. When you get this, you know, being this close to being able to go play again, but um, that's honestly probably like the most challenging thing right now is just being where I'm at and uh, you know taking it day by day and you know going out and practice and going, you know, having a good practice and um, uh, it just mean it means everything though, like for the guys to look at me as captain. Um, like I said, like like the hold that room has on like my heart, like to. To have them have the respect from that room like that, it, it means it means the world. Got time for a few more. Back to the left, Chris, and then Austin. Brian, what's your view of the defense and how they've played so far against your own? Um, they're good. They are uh, energetic, man. Um, playmakers, athletes. They uh, and like what they do is confusing, man. So it's uh, it's um, it's it's good. And are you wearing a brace on your knee this year? No, sir. Okay. Stand on the left there, Austin. In terms of the defense, anybody you've gone up against among the defensive backs uh, that you thought had a really good camp? Yeah, uh, Jemai, man, he got he got better and better like every day. Um, and I thought I thought he uh, really challenged me throughout this camp a lot. Rainer, uh, I guess the last year you leading up to the season, you would work a lot with Kate, I guess, individually. I mean, how much do you see that connection kind of? Developing since we didn't get the chance to really see it that much, and especially how much do you think that could increase the uh, downfield opportunities for this offense? Uh, like, yeah, I mean, me, me, K, JJ, and uh, Davis, all the quarterbacks, we've um, put in a lot of work um, behind the scenes and, um, you know, gotten all the timing that we need to get. Um, and of course, there's still room to improve, but uh, repetition wise, man, we've got it in and um, we're ready to roll, man. We've got about 15 minutes to get to the next two guys, so just a couple more for Ronnie here before they got to get to the next commitment. Uh, on the right side here, Alejandro. Uh, I imagine your top priority was getting healthy, but is there anything about your game that you focused on to improve from the beginning of last season? Um, it just, I truthfully, just completely as a player, you know what I mean? Like, there wasn't a single part of my game that um, I felt like I had no room to improve, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to improve everything. Like when I, whenever I, uh, you know, realized I was gonna kind of have to get surgery and do what I was doing, it's just like, you know, every part of my game has to go to a whole nother level. Like, um, like I said, like if I get nine months to just focus on my body, like I gotta everything. Um, and so that's truthfully as a whole receiver, as a whole everything, <laughs> I'm aiming for uh, better.